Hi, and welcome again. It is spring down here in South Texas, and with spring comes the creepy crawlies. What I'm talking about is fleas, ticks, lice, mites, and flies, some of the things that I hate the most. Here, helping me in this video today, I've got Viking the Brindle and his son here, Moose. These are our Turkish Boss Livestock Guardian Dogs. So I'm gonna start off with what I use on these guys along with the rest of our guardian dogs. My go-to product for them is the Soresto Flea and Tick Collars. They're about 50 to 60 bucks. I'm gonna put a link here. And yes, I know that seems kind of expensive, but fleas, ticks, mites, and their larvae, and it's good for eight months. Also, as some of you know, I'm not a fan of collars on my working dogs. If they get hung up, they do break easily. Highly recommend this product. Now, if you don't want to do the collars, go talk to your vet. Bervecto is a very good one we've had, um, we've used in the past with really good luck. And I know there's a bunch of other ones. So if you don't want the collar, go talk to your vet. They've got a lot of good products to offer. Okay, next thing, if you want a more natural approach, one you can do, plain white vinegar. Mix it a one-to-one -one ratio, put it on a towel, put it on um, in a spray bottle, spray your dog, make sure you don't get it in the sensitive areas, eyes, mouth, rears, body parts. Spray it on there, you put, do this on sheep, goats, horses, cattle, dogs. The only thing is you do probably have to wipe them down daily, sometimes even multiple times a day when we really get into fly season. But if you want a natural approach, that works. Another natural approach, diatomaceous earth. I will see if I can get a link for this also for you guys. Um, it's messy. I'm not going to put it on the dog say, but as you can see, it's a powder, natural, get a handful, rub it in, get it all the way down to the skin on your dog, your sheep, your goats, cattle, anything. Just make sure they don't breathe it in because it can be dangerous for the lungs. Really good. I also like to put this in their bedding area. Another natural approach, nematodes. You just cannot use any kind of pesticides if you're going to take this route. They are beneficial little bugs. They go in the ground. They eat the larvae and prevent your fleas, your ticks, your flies, all that stuff from even maturing. So that's another natural approach. Flies. Oh my gosh, I hate flies. Fly season is coming upon us. Of course, this is not natural, and I've had this bottle for a while. It's about 80 to 100 bucks for one of these, but I've had this for three years now. Mix it up, spray on any hard surface, or you can take the granules and put them out in a little container. Just please make sure wherever you put this, your animals cannot lick or consume this. It is very dangerous. It's a poison. Hope this helps you guys out. Again, I've got the links for all the products we talked about today. You guys have a great one.